We just recently announced we passed 85 million customers in Brazil, Mexico, and Colombia, which positions as the fourth largest financial institution in the country. And we have had now one out of every two Brazilians uh, use one of our products. And we're getting to a level of reach that, you know, frankly, no bank in the U.S. even has. Valuing the company at a staggering $41 billion at its IPO price, that makes it the world's most valuable standalone digital bank. Hi, everyone. New Bank has become the largest digital bank in the world. Latin America has 660 million people as population, that is two times that of the United States. And you won't believe this, 50% of that population is unbanked, which means they have no access to the primary banking needs like having a savings account, ability to transfer money or getting a loan or even credit cards for that matter. New Bank, under the leadership of David Valles, who founded the New Bank, has acquired 90 million customers just through sheer word of mouth over the last 10 years. David Valles and New Bank capitalized on this opportunity to such a dominance that today, 60% of these 90 million customers use New Bank's products for their primary banking needs. Now, in today's episode, we will explore what three different strategies, what three great strategies that David Wallace and New Bank implemented in such a way that their dominance has proven that today, one out of every two Brazilian adult population is a customer of New Bank. David Wallace, before he started New Bank in 2013, he was a partner in Sequoia Capital, with one of the best private equity out there. Now, he himself, David himself, faced frustrating experience, having had to go to physical banks multiple times to just open a simple bank account in Colombia and Brazil. So he decided to start a new bank, a digital bank that can serve customers' needs without them having to come to the bank branches and do so much of cumbersome paperwork. The mission statement that David and team follows a new bank is fighting complexity to empower people. That means a lot. David truly believes that complexity is everywhere in Latin America, from getting a mortgage to credit card to insurance. So he wanted to get rid of all sort of black market banking out there, the financial institutions out there providing expensive loans at very high bleeding interest rates that puts customers to the corner. He wanted to get rid of all of that and he wanted to create that social impact and financial inclusion. So he established New Bank with that mission statement to empower people. Now, what are those three strategies? The very first strategy, he wanted to allure customers with very interesting banking product and very differentiated banking products. So in Latin America, 450 million people have bank accounts. 250 million people have no bank accounts. For people who have bank accounts, they need more options. They wanted more options. In Brazil, Argentina, Colombia, and Mexico, five banks, just five banks had 90% of the customers. That is a kind of monopoly that these five banks or six banks had in these five countries, just these five countries alone. People banked are overpaying and people who didn't have bank accounts had no options. When new bank entered a market, their strategy is to target the existing customers and allure them with so much of differentiated products at very lower cost and then expand into the unbanked customers, unbanked population in that country. Now, New Bank has bought a suite of financial services to millions of underserved Latin Americans who previously had no bank accounts or access to credit, credit access. The total addressable market is so huge that, for example, insurance is hardly present in Latin America. Now, similarly, just 2 million people are using equity investing and having an app to do equity investing out of 200 million people in Brazil. So that is a kind of underpenetration, an underbanked population that exists in Latin America. New bank has been set up from scratch on cloud infrastructure, consuming not just one or two FICO score like they do in US. They have 7,000 different variables to arrive at a credit score for a customer. So that is a level of depth they are in implementing to arrive at a credit score for customers. And they are leveraging technology to the greatest extent possible to be successful as a digital bank out there. 
The second strategy they did is build customer obsession culture. We would have heard about entrepreneurs who are so obsessive in establishing that culture in their companies like Jeff Bezos in Amazon, Apple, Steve Jobs. They are so obsessive about serving the needs of customer. David Wallace just followed that strategy, being obsessive about serving customers with the best of the breed products and giving such a level of experience that the customers can do anything with just with their app and a phone. David had a unique approach about building culture of new bank from scratch. He learned that from the Sequoia's culture. He believed that from right from the point when they had just 15 employees to establish that culture of customer obsession. He strongly believed users are consumers of culture, not products. Culture brings people, people brings great products and products serve customers. Now example, in customer service, bank will know the question before the customer even asks the question through the support chat or even call the customer desk. Third best strategy they adopted is building technology, deep technology and digital innovation from beginning. New Bank is more of a technology company, just like Tesla is not a car company. New Bank is not a bank, but rather a digital bank. It's a rather digital technology enabled company. New Bank developed a bank that could provide all services over mobile without the need for a bank branch. They eliminated the branches completely. For example, New Bank was an early adopter of PIX. PIX is the Brazilian central bank powered instant payment system that settles money in seconds. Until then, Brazil had and even Latin America had something called a boleto where people used to go to particular money transfer services, fill up the forms like a money order and do the transfer or any other banking needs even paying bills. PIX allows the transfer of money from the payer's bank account to the creditor's account almost instantly at any time and without intermediaries. And David believes PIX will cannibalize the entire credit industry in Brazil and Latin America for that matter. It would cannibalize the credits and debit cards. And he says credit cards are like Netflix original business of sending physical DVDs, but PIX is the new Netflix of digital future growing at 50 percentage plus and they have a revenue of 2 billion US dollars right and they are doing this not by losing money they are highly profitable they just turn profitable the gross profit is up 113 percentage last year alone and they have a 42 percentage gross profit margin which has went on from 31 percentage just three years back to 43 percentage today similarly new bank is at an inflection point today the bank has turned profitable at operating level because the operating leverage has started kicking in with scale. You could look at the figure in December 2019, the gross profit was $327 million and at EBIT level, earnings before tax, it was negative $129 million. And you see that it's December 2022, it has turned green, their operating profit EBT earnings before tax is become 47 million dollars plus 47 million dollars and you know you could see that it is now in the last four quarters from 5 million dollars earnings before tax it has grown up to 324 million dollars so it is a multiplication factor of operating leverage that is kicking in and today new bank is extremely profitable now, it is important to have return on equity and profitability when it comes to a fintech firm like New Bank. You could see that the return on equity has gone from negative 4% just in quarter 1 2022 to a 17% return on equity in quarter 2 2023. The latest quarter, they are expecting to cross 18% return on equity, which is amazing. I mean, a 100% growing company with a 43% gross margin, growing, turning profitable at operating level and having a return on equity grow from negative 3% to 18% positive is an amazing feat achieved by New Bank with such a tremendous story lining up and crafting. All I can say is David Wallace and New Bank could potentially become a super app just like the Tencent and WeChat in China or a PayPal or Square in United States. New Bank today is at $50 billion market capitalization, almost half the size of a global banking giant like Citibank. New Bank well could be on its way to become one of the largest banks in the world with a, probably a banking license. New Bank could very well extend their growth story for years ahead 
and i want to leave you with that success story today in game of investing podcast signing off sandeep anand